we set out to create an opening and closing ceremony that will mark the occasion of a new chapter in the Olympic movement. That's a huge thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a global event. With a program comparable to other games opening ceremonies, this year's Youth Olympic Games opener is not one to miss. This is an opportunity for a global address with 170 television stations, I think, already committed to televising it. We have an audience of up to one, up to two billion tuned in to that evening. Okay, so it's very exciting. It's also very frightening. The opening and closing ceremonies will inspire national pride and global unity. As the world's first Youth Olympic Games, the world will be watching the ceremony in Singapore with anticipation. Seven different segments with varying themes will make up the show. This item really will welcome the Olympic Games to Singapore in a way, in, in, through dance, through gesture, through movement, through song. Okay? Um, we will have drumming, which issues a call to the world. We will have every single major ethnic group here and celebrate our diversity, welcoming people through gestures of welcome. We will dance across the water. We will then form the Olympic ring. Dance across the water to form the Olympic ring? Ivan refused to elaborate, but promised it will keep audiences riveted. Our origins, of course, tells the story of our parents, our grandparents and our great-grandparents like I mentioned before, how they took the risk, how they got on a boat and decided to chase their dream, blaze their trail. Singapore is really amazing because it's like a pop-up city, right? Who would imagine that in your generation, in my generation, you see a city rise up from the water in one generation? It's amazing and we are lucky to be here today, celebrating it, witnessing it and so it's a tribute to our city. Sounds safe so far. But what about the item labelled monster? And for a youth athlete, sometimes that monster is fear. Sometimes that monster is insecurity. And in many ways, it is just uh, an idea for us to kind of capture this. How do we actually get over our monsters? Who are our heroes? Who are our, who are our villains? What are our monsters and how do we get over them? The next theme, Playing With Fire, symbolises young athletes pushing limits and taking risks. The dragon symbolising wisdom, strength, power and courage. 850 performers from Soka Youth will be performing this item. Immediately after this item, when we have a dragon blazing through the space, we send out a message to the world about the apocalypse which is happening now in our world. The last one being the oil slick. We then move to the climax of our show, which really talks about a bud. Our show is about beginnings. It is about the bud and the potential in every single youth athlete. It talks about the bud in every single Singaporean, every single young person, in every single young city and young civilization that needs to be nurtured with love, with care, with hopes and dreams. And we will see a bud bloom. Fitting themes for a youth event indeed. Any fitting analogy to symbolize the future of the Youth Olympic Games.